The University of Chicago men's soccer team heads to Virginia tomorrow for their semifinals, an achievement under the guidance of a trailblazer. Can we get out here? Can we just break down? Give them a little pressure. The night before, the, the University of Chicago there. men's soccer team leaves for the NCAA Division Three Final Four. Go. Let's make it clean and sharp. Move Coach Julianne Sitch is squeezing in another round of drills. Oh, the guys are hungry and eager and ready to go. With leadership, few others can claim. When Sitch was hired for this season, she became only the second woman to coach one of the 415 Division III men's soccer teams. After guiding the Maroons to an undefeated season, she's now the first woman to lead a men's soccer team to the Final Four in any division. If she doesn't like the way things are going, she'll step into our drills with her cleats and show us how, how she wants it to be done. Team captain Richard Gillespie says what stands out about Coach Sitch isn't her gender, but her dedication. The biggest thing that she's taught me is her ability to work hard and really put her 100% effort in everything that she does. That's remained steadfast throughout the Oswego native's career as a student athlete at DePaul, then as a pro in Sweden, Australia, and here with the Chicago Red Stars. At a very young age, I always wanted to play professional soccer, but I started out being the only girl on an all-boys team. Now leading the boys, she's focused on getting them to the championship. They've reached the Final Four in four of the last five years, but they've never won. Sitch is equally committed to setting an historic example. I'm hoping that you know things are continuing to move forward and change where women, young girls, can see women in leadership roles, whether it's in the corporate world or sports world. It gives them something to dream about, gives them something to believe in, and it gives them something to aspire to be. Aspiration for a coach like her to be the norm. But I hope that uh, this can kind of become the standard of, of the future where we're not even having this conversation and where we're not even thinking about her being uh, a woman leading a men's team. Good Cam, good touch Cam, good ball Cam, good Robbie. The semifinal game is Thursday. If this team wins, they will head to the championship on Saturday and perhaps make a little more history. At the University of Chicago, Jenna Barnes, WGN News.